Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a quick little video here regarding my thoughts on the acquisition of Kings Out by MGI. So this first tidbit is going to come straight from MGI's homepage. You can go here yourself and look it up if you want. It's right. It's the main focus of their homepage right now. But if you go hit read more and then go down to. So if you come down here and this is what the article says, there will be further growth potential from launching the game on console as well as developing a mobile version for 2022 onwards. This means they're working on a mobile version of the game and as well as console. Now, as for the mobile version, I don't really know how that's gonna work out because think about it, you got your phone and you've got, if you've got big old fingers like me on a small screen, your fingers are gonna be hitting all kinds of buttons. Let's say you wanna to go to the commons area, you're gonna end up hitting your home, go to your home. It's, it's gonna happen, it's inevitable. The current discard spell in a duel right now on Wiz is right click. So I don't really know how they're gonna be able to do that on a mobile version because obviously there's no right click on it. This next part is my favorite part to talk about for the mobile and console, and that's the chat system. As right as of right now, King's Isle games are split into three different tiers: menu chat, text chat, and open chat. Menu chat being you have to select a preset phrase and that's how you well, that's how you talk text chat you can type but you have restrictions on a lot of restrictions and that's for like 13 to 18 years old and then open chat is the same as text chat except you don't have as many barriers when it comes to what you can say and this is designed for the 18 plus audience i don't know about you guys but whenever i try to type on a phone or on a console it, it takes a while a lot longer than it does on keyboard I'm just sitting here thinking to myself about all the voice chat things that could happen if uh, MGI decides to put voice chat in their game. Hey, Timmy, what the f*** are you thinking using a wand hit on my feint? Like, what the f*** is wrong with you? And to think about how toxic the PvP community already is, if they were to integrate voice chat into the game, then oh my god, PvP would be intolerable. It's just all there is to it. And this next tidbit of information has to do with Pirate 101, and I'm super excited about it. So, as you can see from this article right here, it's on a King's Isle blog from Falmea. We'll start working on translating some of our other ideas to actual working plans. One of those ideas is to have more regular updates to Pirate 101. I'm excited about the possibilities, but this is something that will take some planning and coordination with Gamago, Gamago, and frankly, more developers than we have now to make happen. And I think this is really interesting because the reason they're not developing Pirate 101 anymore is because they just don't have the developers to do it. They're focusing on Wiz 101, their main moneymaker, which is totally understandable. But I am so excited that they are finally updating Pirate 101 again through MGI and I think it has a lot of growth potential because the, the gameplay is amazing. The fights are more strategic. You actually have to think a little bit and the storyline is amazing. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will leave a link to both of these articles in the description below in case you want to check them out yourselves. Thanks so much. Have a nice day.